Peace and prosperity be unto all who's listening and watching. It's your girl, Shay Miller, right? And I'm back with another video. And today we're going to talk about betrayal. And if you experienced betrayal from a loved one or someone you know. Or someone you don't know. Now, betrayal can be expressed in different ways. And ultimately, betrayal leaves us all affected in a way that sometimes we can't even explain. It leaves traumas and things in ourselves that we ultimately cannot overcome unless we actually do the works to heal from those betrayals. Now, betrayal can be from anybody. It can be from a loved one or a friend or someone you just met, somebody in business. It doesn't really matter. Betrayal happens to everybody in any aspect of a life. So, biggest thing is you want to ultimately detach yourself from the person who betrayed you <laughs> um really figure out whether you can forgive that person or not because it requires forgiveness in order to overcome become overcome betrayal okay it requires forgiveness okay people and a lot of people don't have what it takes to forgive others in order to overcome or heal or get past something that someone did naturally is not necessarily well it is what they did but it's the principle around what they did it's not necessarily it's the fact that they did it to you and they had no principles and then the fact that they went against principles to betray you it was just like it's kind of disrespectful so people who talk about you in your absence People who don't respect you in your absence don't deserve your presence. And you got to understand that you can't surround yourself around everybody and act like you're everybody's friend and be in everybody's face and, you know, put on this pretend act that you're cool and be something that you're not to impress people who probably don't give a crap about you uh, only to be betrayed or... I mean, you can't stop people from speaking about you, but naturally, uh, you put yourself in a lot of predicaments to be around people, kiss, tell, um, pretend to be something you're not, uh, care about other people's opinions. Also, you put yourself in a lot of predicaments in life that ultimately lead you in a situation of being used or betrayed or um, taken for granted. And when you are in this place, uh, naturally you have to be more mad at yourself than the person itself and yes it is the principles that govern us and the act of what one done but ultimately you need to be more mad at yourself that you allow it to occur if it's someone you love like a family member or friend then you need to cut them off for sure forgive them yes and you need to cut them off for sure and don't have nothing to do with people who can't respect you in general so basically you just like want to set some boundaries and respect yourself enough to let people go when they do these things because it does affect you mentally emotionally and spiritually and it affects the way you think the way you feel and how you act sometimes and this is why we got to have emotional intelligence because sometimes the act of one can ultimately bring up the act of ourselves but if you have a stronger mentality a stronger mindset and allow your emotional to be let's just say you got to put your emotions to the side you got to have a logical um, standpoint when it comes to things that people do or things that people say ultimately what people say cannot dictate or change your life uh, people could speak on your life always forever but it wouldn't change your life. It wouldn't change your purpose and it wouldn't change who you are. But your mindset can. And if you allow those beliefs of others to seep in your mind, then yes, those things can control you. Those opinions can become you. And those ideas can become your perspective. But if you don't allow those things to influence you, you're on a good set. You're on a good start, man. Nothing can stop you from being your best. Ultimately, when it comes to betrayal, you just have to put yourself in a position of forgiving. When it comes to people you love or people you don't know, you have to understand we can't go around expecting the best from everybody. 
because everybody's not us. That's where we fail ourselves. But we ultimately fail ourselves when we allow ourselves to be put in a predicament or a situation that allows us to be misused or mistreated or betrayed or even taken for granted. And because when you know better is when you do better. Ultimately, you have to go through these hard times and these positions in life in order to get that experience to know better. Hey, I know I deserve better now because I've been going through crap with this one person. You know, ultimately, you have to go through a hard time in order to understand what you really deserve. And ultimately, you have to have all these crazy experiences to understand what you need to do. So, without the experience of betrayal, you wouldn't even know that you, the principles around who you need to surround yourself around, the kind of people you need to have in your life, you got to be selective. Like people are when they give you a job, you have credentials. People need to have credentials. You got to have principles. You got to have values. You got to have boundaries. You got to have all these things. And I know these things don't seem important, but they are because it comes in a place where you, people will always respect you if you have boundaries for yourself. So when you are put in a position of being betrayed and people, by people you love, people in business, and people you don't know, ultimately you just got to cut yourself away from those people. Deciding your mind. Are you willing to forgive them? Is what they is what they done forgivable in your mind? How long would it take you to forgive them? Because if you hold on to the um, the offense itself um, and what they done, you allow your mind, your um, spirit, and everything else to be affected by what they've done and how they treated you. But if you say right then, decide that moment that you're gonna forgive them. And you're going to let this go. And you're going to learn the lesson that betrayal teached you in that moment. I know betrayal hurts. I've been betrayed by many of my loved ones. Okay. Many people I don't know as well. So I understand that it hurts. It really does hurt. It turns you inside out. It brings out your pride. It brings out your ego. It brings out things in you that are very dark. Dark intended natures. But you want us to have a good intent. You want to stay a good person. And you want to remain on a good path. So what I'm saying to you is you don't want to allow these things to affect the way you are with yourself. Others who are actually good to you in your life. You want to be selective in the future when it comes to people you love. And people who you allow to be in your life. And your business partners and then strangers as well. Um, just be honest. Uh, quite honest about it because ultimately we really are put in a position of knowing things and never acting taking the actions to um, do things that are necessary to keep ourselves out of these predicaments because we don't do the necessary works in the, the different areas of our lives whether it's you know our business partners our friends you know anything we don't put ourselves in a position of doing the work Therefore, when it happens, it's kind of like all of a sudden, and then it's like very disappointing, and it's very hurtful, and then it affects us. But because we make poor decisions in friends, we make poor decisions in business partners, poor, poor you know, decisions to companions and partners and family that we chose to be around. Like it's not that you don't have to, you don't necessarily not need to love them, but you can detach yourself from them. You don't have to be around people you love every single day. But ultimately, you need to decide what's best for you, not what's best for others, not what's best for your mom, not what's best for your dad, your cousin, your business partner, your companion, but what's best for you. And when you ultimately figure that out, ultimately, there's no room for betrayal in the world where you set boundaries, in the world where you have respect for yourself, in the world where you were the man as a respect, as an armor, okay? The biggest thing is, People who can't respect you in your absence, don't defend you in your absence, don't speak up for you in your absence, don't say, hey, I believe this person over you, you know, that's just a rumor. Whatever, I'll get the real information from the actual person. It wasn't from the tongue itself, therefore I cannot believe you. Like people who stand up for you in your absence, or people who respect you in your absence, deserve your presence, okay? People who don't respect you in your absence don't deserve to have your presence. Don't even need to, you don't even need to entertain such energy, such people, such existence. Your existence is valuable, and if people don't value you, you don't, they don't deserve you. They don't deserve you. So remember, 
when you think about those who betray you and those who um, do you wrong and those who sit around and you know play around with you be mindful that you don't deserve how they treat you because you're valuable your existence is valuable and if they don't respect you they don't deserve you love you guys i hope you guys have a prosperous day and this is mayola as always uh i hope you learned something as always but um comment down below engage with me in the comments and let me know what you learned from this video particularly